In this video, I'm going to be talking about is Shopify a good stock to buy in 2020 and going to be doing some shop price analysis using fundamental and technical indicators. So if you're interested in that, I would recommend keep watching. Now, before we get into this, please smash the like button if you do enjoy the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. So currently Shopify is sitting at $644 a share. It's up 5% today and it's got an upcoming earnings report in about two days um, and it's sitting at a $74 billion market cap. And that's just insane because I remember when this stock was only at about $20 to $50 a share and it really wasn't too long ago. Um, um, so it's just crazy to see how far it's come. Now, looking at the charts here, we can see that Shopify has been on an absolute surge lately, and it's one of the only stocks that's actually higher than it was in February um, before we had this major stock market crash, which is really interesting to see um, because it shows how volatile uh, Shopify can be. And it's one of the best um, stocks to really trade if you're into trading. As you probably know, I focus more on technical analysis, especially during times like these when the markets are so volatile. And um, if you know how to do technical analysis, you can really take advantage of those amazing opportunities and gains that the market can give us during these times. However, it can also give us amazing sales on some really good companies that we may want to invest in for the future. And Shopify may be one of them um, for you guys. I'm personally not invested for the long term in Shopify, but of course I do trade it. Now, looking at these charts, we can see that um, back in February, it reached a high of around $590 and then it dipped all the way to $305 for a total loss of about 40 to 50%, right? Um, now, uh, since that point, uh, which has really only been about a month and two weeks, uh, it's gone up 95%. Now, this is a similar case with Tesla. Tesla actually went up a bit more than this. However, Tesla is not testing all-time highs like Shopify is right now, which is crazy to think of because there's so many stocks out there that are still bleeding um, because of what's going on in these markets. And during these times, it's pretty much expected that a lot of stocks are going to reach new lows, especially if the Dow Jones, which is a huge industrial average tracking 30 big stocks, right? If that continues to fall, then the rest of the market will probably do so as well as we've seen in the past. However, uh, the Dow Jones has bounced back a bit and so have a lot of other stocks, which is great um, as we're reaching uh, new highs in some cases, as you can see with Shopify, but a lot of people are expecting another major crash uh, coming in the next month or two, depending again on what's going on in the news and media. But to be honest, the situation we're in is expected to get worse um, by many uh, doctors and scientists, right? So uh, that could definitely affect the markets. Now, just looking at the charts and not paying attention to the news, media, or even fundamentals of the company, we can see that Shopify is doing very well, right? It broke above that moving average back on April 7th. Um, and since it's broken above that, it hasn't gone back below and it's been on an absolute surge since then. So if you got in then, you saw the MACD crossover and you saw it cross over the moving average, then that was a clear sign to buy and you're still in until it obviously crosses below that with a confirmation on the MACD. Um, and that's why trading can be really simple sometimes just using Bollinger Bands, moving averages, and MACD divergence indicator, which essentially just acts as a signal to buy or sell. Um, and the MACD works really great for that. Some people like to use other things like um, relative vigor index, um, but I personally love the MACD, so I'll probably continue using that. Now, um, the, really the only resistance level is uh, when we try to break above the $670 region and got kind of stopped out there. So that could act as resistance. So if we break above that and close above that um, and continue moving up, that would be pretty bullish. But we will probably end up around the $750 to $800 um, levels if we did break above that and continue moving up because there isn't much resistance, obviously, since we all at all-time highs. Um, so it truly just depends 
on where the stock is going to go and how much volume is coming into the market. Now, if we do start falling, um, it would be pretty easy to do that because all we would have to obviously do is um, fail to get above those levels and start to break below the moving average with a MACD cross. And as you can see, the MACD is getting um, close to each other. So we could easily see a downturn um, and start to see a more bearish trend. Um, but again, it does depend on what the rest of the market's doing. So it'd be interesting to see um, how Shopify reacts to that and other stocks like Tesla, because both of these stocks are kind of uh, performing very similar right now um, and I actually made a video on Tesla in the past so if you want to watch that there will be a link in the top right corner now moving on to some of the fundamentals just a quick analysis of the fundamentals not too in-depth as you guys know I'm personally um, more about trading especially in markets like this so I don't really look at the fundamentals all that much I just look at price action and volume and indicators right and patterns and stuff like that now looking at the balance sheet it's actually pretty healthy the total assets is around 3.4 billion and the liabilities is only 473 million so that's a very good ratio and it's a sign of a very financially healthy company and that's really good to see because if a company has more assets and liabilities um, that's a really good sign that they're not going out of business anytime soon especially if they have a ratio like this um, and a growing amount of assets year by year as you can see in 2016 they only had 490 million dollars in assets now they're at 3.4 billion and of course the liabilities go up too that's just because um, as the company gets um, bigger and the market value gets bigger they're gonna have more operations which costs more money obviously um, so that's fine as long as they don't go up at the same rate of the assets now looking at the revenue we can actually see that this company's sales have been growing at a rapid rate year after year for example in 2016 those sales were only 389 million 2017 673 million 2018 1.07 billion um, and then 2019, 1.58 billion, uh, which is almost a 50% increase. And in 2020, they were expected to do over $2 billion in sales. But of course, that could be affected because of everything that's going on um, globally right now that is affecting pretty much every company and every company's sales. Now, here is where the um, not so good part comes in for Shopify. As you can see, the earnings is down $124 million in 2019 and 2018 it was less 2017 it was less um, so as they make more money as they make more sales they actually are losing more money which is really not a good sign right nobody wants to invest in a company that's not making any money However, the reason they're losing so much money um, is because, again, they're investing it back into the company and they're expected to make huge profits in the future. But for now, this company is not so profitable and it would actually be losing a lot more money if it didn't do public offerings, um, which are pretty much just fundraisers so it can continue operating. So it's pretty much running off other people's money, which, again, is not so good if you're investing in the long term. But Shopify does have huge growth potential just because of how many people and businesses are coming into the e-commerce place ready to sell their products and promote their products um, and people are buying them right because more and more customers are also coming to the space which is a really good sign of a growing industry and honestly e-commerce is probably not going anywhere anytime soon if anything, people are going to start buying more and more products online, uh, which will just expand the industry even more than it already is. And Shopify is pretty much one of those platforms that allows people to grow their businesses online and start selling their products. And it's kind of strange to think that Shopify isn't that profitable right now, especially when they're a subscription-based service um, where their profit margins can be very high. However, their new subscriptions were actually decreasing in 2019. It was more the add-ons and the themes that people can buy for their online stores. Those were actually really increasing at a rapid rate, while the new subscriptions were really not. So that's really interesting to look at because it could be more of a negative sign, but it could also be a positive sign since the opening up multiple streams of sales for the products and services which is obviously the key to a growing and profitable company. You need many different services around the similar niche um, that provide quality and people are gonna continue purchasing them in the future. Now, something that's not so good about Shopify is if you're investing for the future, you are paying way too much right now. It's way overvalued if you're looking at its revenue, right? Its revenue is only expected to be around 2 billion for 2020 
and it's valued at $75 billion market cap, which is just insane, right? Tesla's stock is valued at $180 billion, um, and it's got sales of $25 billion, so it's a bit more respectable in terms of the sales, right? Um, but Shopify is only sitting at $2 billion in sales um, for a whole year. So the fact that it's trading at $75 billion market cap shows that a lot of people are investing based off its futures sales and revenues and profits, but not actually looking at what's happening right now, which is really important to do if you're investing. Even if you're investing for the next 10 years, 20 years, you always should be looking at what company is doing now that will actually set them up for those things later on. So that's my take um, on Shopify, right? It's got more assets and liabilities, which is great. It's got good future potential, more and more e-commerce businesses and customers coming into the space, right? Uh, growing revenue, which is really great to see. Um, it's got great balance sheet and financials. However, it's not exactly profitable and it's losing money and running on public offerings. Also, it's trading way higher than it should be, honestly, if you're looking just off its revenue and its assets, um, it's trading way, way higher. And that's probably not so good for investors because it's really overvalued. And obviously, as an investor, you want to get in at a good price so you're set up for the next 10 to 20 years. But if you're trading, it really doesn't matter because all you care about is price action and volume and those indicators and patterns, which we can definitely do with Shopify because there's so many opportunities lately, which I showed you when we did a little bit of technical analysis, we really didn't go in depth with the fundamentals or the technicals because these are supposed to be quick videos and not something that's going to take forever to watch. So if you did enjoy it, please smash the like button as I really appreciate all the support and engagement we've been getting on this channel lately. Um, it really just makes my day and makes me motivated to make even more videos for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please smash the like button on this video. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you would like, you can follow my Instagram at jacksonsummers111. I post all types of awesome and motivational content there, um, and you'll be alerted anytime a new video comes out. So if you're interested in that, I would recommend following me there. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace.